guys and welcome back to a new tutorial from me. I'm really sorry that I don't post the last week's new tutorials, but I started a new job and um, it was really time consuming to find out my way there. But now I'm really happy with my new job and I have again more time to create things, stunning visuals for you. So let's get started with the tutorial and today we will create this animation. It's not so colorful like the last one, but um, yeah, it is more in the new trend because everything will be in the future more transparent, glass material, plastic, foil and other stuff. So I think it's really important to know how to create the textures and how to animate it. So let's start with the tutorial and if you have any questions or if you have some problems with the tutorial, write it in the comments or text me on social media. You will find the link in the caption. So let's go. The 3D, the 3D objects. objects. Let's start with the tutorial. First we need Adobe Illustrator because we need a spline logo. And I use an Adidas PNG file. I find, found it in the internet. And I link you the logo in the caption. You can also use it. And uh, yeah, first of all, we have to create a new file. And 1080 by 1080 pixels is enough. In the next step, you can drag and drop the PNG file in the Adobe Illustrator file, like this. And after it, uh, we want to convert it in a vector file. You have to uh, press here the button Picture Tracer. And if, if you are happy with the result, you have to uh, press the button again to convert. And now you have a ready vectorized logo. And in the next step, we have to drag it to the side because we have also the background as areas. And we have to delete it. And for this, we have to select everything, press with the right mouse button on it, and uh, press ungroup. And now you can, with the second tool, delete the uh, areas that you don't want. Okay, sometimes it don't work by double clicking. And yeah, now you can delete everything. All right, when you are ready, you can take the logo and put it back in the center here. For Cinema 4D, we only need the outline. So the color inside, we choose nothing. And for the outline, we choose black. Now we have only the outline. We can scale it a little bit up, that it fill the whole area. And that's it. Now we have to save the file. For this, we go to save, save under. And it has to be a Adobe Illustrator file. Name it however you want. And then you go to save. And now here's a very important step. We have to choose Illustrator number eight because this is the only version that's, uh, that support, that supported <laughs> in Cinema 4D. Yeah. So choose it and save it. So now open Cinema 4D and you can drag and drop the Adobe Illustrator file into Cinema 4D. Now you have the whole logo. And every area is a uh, spline, but we want the whole logo as one spline. So you select everything and press with the right mouse button on it and choose connect object plus delete. Now you have one spline object. In the next step, we want out of the spline a 3D object. And for this, we choose extrude. Then we put the spline under it and ta-da, we have a 3D object and yeah. We choose Extrude and, and under Movement Z, we choose 2 centimeters. Then we go to the Caps tag and choose here under size 0 0.5. Now we have a cool logo with rounded edges and we also want more details in the logo. And for this, we go to Segments and choose 10. Now we have a perfect logo. And if you are happy with the result, select again everything, press with the right mouse button on it and choose connect object plus delete. All right, now we want to center everything. And for this, we search first for axis center and, 
access to, and here we choose alignment and all, and then we choose execute, and now the cursor is in the center of the mass of the object, and then we also um, choose it here, and we choose 0, 0, and 0, and now it's also centered in the whole scene in Cinema 4D. Now we also choose a null object and put the logo under it. It's not, it's not necessary now, but it will later on uh, important for the animation, so it's good to have it here. <laughs> That's it. We only need a plane. We choose it here on the object. Then we choose the plane, go to the object tag and um, change the orientation to plus C. And now we have to put it behind the logo. This is later on our foil, by the way. <laughs> and um, yeah, in width and height, I choose 100 and 100. And it's really important to make the plane not too big because uh, the physics in Cinema 4D works like in real life. And if it's too high, it's really complicated to get the right values for the physics. So 100 by 100 is uh, perfect for this. And you can also get the same result as I get if you choose the same values. Yeah, and uh, for segments, we choose 60 and 50. And yeah, when we change the shader here, you can see, okay, the squares are the segments. This is enough for this animation. All right, that's it for the 3D object. And guys, I would be interested in what you do with my tutorial. Feel free to send me your results on Instagram or TikTok, and I will repost all of them as a thank you. The most creative animation will even get an exclusive shout out in the next video. Mm, I hope it's a motivation enough for you. And yeah, on my social media channels, you can also support me as an artist with a few likes or a follow. I regularly post interesting short tutorials and my art. And yeah, it, it would help me a lot. And thank you guys. All right, let's move on with the materials. The materials. materials. All right, first of all, we create the sky. And the sky is important for the lightning in the whole scene. For this, you go in the top of the bar here and choose sky. With double click here in the material window, you can create a new material. And then you can drag and drop the material to the sky. And yeah, the next step, open the material. We only need the luminance channel. And on the texture, I add the HDRY image. The image is important for the lightning and it looks like this. And I also link you the file in the caption. And for this animation, it's really important that this white area is in the background. And for this, we have to rotate the sky. So go a little bit back. So you see, here is the HDRY. Then you go to, so you choose here um, the HDRY material. And under rotation, you can rotate it. So like this, 90 degrees, yeah. So now it's perfect in front of the white wall. Now we create a new material. This will be the metal material for the logo. Drag and drop it to the logo. You can see it's now here. And yeah, now we um, open the material, we go under reflectance, we remove the default specular and we add a new GGX layer. And that's it. Now we have a metal material on our logo. And now we create a new material. This is the foil, foil or the plastic material. We drag and drop it on the plane. Now we put a check mark on transparency. And here we choose PET. It's like the bottle plastic. We also choose here 95 so that the plastic is a little bit darker, so we can see the reflections later on better. And in the last step, we go to reflectance. Here we also remove it, and we add a specular Pong legacy. And in width, it's all right. We, here we need 50, and specular strength, we need 100. 
So the foil material, foil material look like this and the materials are ready. Do you want a complete project file with all textures I used? You can get it. You find all the project files on my Patreon account. There you can also support me as an artist in more ways. And yeah, thank you for the support and I link you my profile in the caption. And a very, 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 very big thank you to my Patreons. Um, yeah, you are great. You are the best. And if you need some help, you know, you can text me. And yeah, now we came to... The animation. The animation. In the last step, we came now to the animation. And for this, we work with physics. First, we choose the logo. Then we press with the right mouse button on it. And we go to simulation text. And we work with close. So we need here for the logo the clothes collider. Now we choose the plane and it's really important you can only use physics when the object is a current state object. So we press with the right mouse button on it and we choose here current state object. This one we can delete, we don't uh, need it anymore. And now choose the new plane as current state object, go to simulation tags and choose close. Now uh, we increase the duration of the animation. I choose uh, 6 seconds and 30 frames are 1 second, so 6 seconds are 180 frames. So you can uh, write it here inside in the field and increase the whole length with the mouse. So now we animate the logo. So we select the logo here, set with this button a keyframe. Then we go to frame 90, that's um, 3 seconds, and we go to the coordinates, and under position Z, we choose 10. So it go 10 centimeters um, to the back. And now we, um, now we press again the key button here to set the keyframe, and now the logo is animated. Cut. And the next step, it's really important to turn off the gravity. For this, we our simulation tag, so we press it here, go to forces, gravity, and we choose zero. And we also go here to the collider. Okay, yeah, here's no gravity, but it's also really important to change it in the whole scene. For this, you go here to project settings, and here under dynamics, gravity, choose also zero. To get this really cool foil effect, we have to work now with um, simulation forces and other stuff. First, we search here in the top for tur tur turbulence. <laughs> to see better what we do now, we delete the foil material. For the All right, in the next step, as you can see, if you press play, the turbulence effector works because we get the waves here on this uh, plane. And now we have to change the values. We go under turbu turbulence and we choose for strength 1 and for scale 10. It's enough because the objects are really small in our scene. Alright, in the next step we search for uh, other effector. It calls attractor. And the attractor is used it's important to uh, the logo because we put it on top of the logo and the foil are sh shrinked into the logo. So we get this cool effect. And for this, choose the attractor and put it here between the null object and the logo. And go under the preferences and under strength, we choose 2. And for speed limit, we choose 10. And for mode, we choose 4. We search also for rotate. And here we choose a value of 0 0.25. And it's also enough. So if we press play now, we have the cool effect. And it looks um, like my example animation. As you can see, the segments are not enough. We will fix it soon. But yeah, it looks perfect. So um, now. We choose for a plane a subdivision surface, put the plane under it, and now we have the cool material uh, look. All right, that's it. Now you can uh, put the point material back 
on the plane. And in the end, uh, I will tell you something to the render settings. We need here physical. I choose 1080 by 1080 pixels. And we render an animation, so it's important to choose here all frames. That's it. Choose a suitable format, like this, and now you can render it. Okay, <laughs> it's a little bit too uh, near, but yeah. That's it for the tutorial, and yeah, um, I still added all my animations with Adobe After Effects, so don't be surprised if it looks a bit different as your result. And as I said, feel free to send me your results. Customize my tutorial artworks and get in the next YouTube video an exclusive shout out. And I will also show your artwork and also your social media. I want to support you guys. And yeah, thank you for your support. I'm really happy that you liked my videos. And I will try in the future up to upload more videos, of course. Oh yeah, we are ready guys, that's it and well done. If you liked the video, please leave a like or a follow. Do you have any theme suggestions? Feel free to send me a message with the theme or example pictures on Instagram or TikTok or write it in the comments. I'm glad about every support and thank you guys. See you in the next week.